All right, in this lesson, we're going to be talking about how you can place text around a circle in Inkscape, something that you may want to do if you plan on creating a little project that has text that goes around a circular path. So uh, for this, we need text on our Inkscape screen here, and you use the text tool, and you'll be able to choose whatever font you wish after you actually type it out if you follow that lesson uh, before this one. So uh, I'm just have that little cursor here. I'm just going to go ahead and type some text that I would like to place around a circle. Okay. Now the next thing that we need is a circle. So over here in the shapes tool, we have the circle selected and uh, you can go ahead and click and drag. You can even do an arch if you'd like. But uh, for this, I'm just going to go ahead and create a circle. So once we have the circle on there, now it's time to uh, go to the selection tool here. So we have the text and keep in mind we always look down here at uh, this part right here. It is text. It's still a text element. I can still edit this text and that's what I want. I don't want to convert this to a path yet because I'm not ready to go cut. So with the text selected I'm going to hold the shift button down and I'm going to have that circle selected. Now that there you are both selected you'll see that we have the bounding box by these and we're going to go ahead and go to uh, text and then we're going to place this right here the cursor right here saying put on path and we select that now I'm going to go ahead and uh, zoom out a bit here so we can see what just happened so uh, ba basically what happened is now that text is basically using the circle as a path or a guideline in order to go around. Well, you may say, well, that's great, Rob, but uh, take a look at it. It's on the bottom. It's not where I really want. Well, you have a couple options for you. You know, of course, you can uh, go ahead and rotate uh, this, and now it's on the top. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and do an undo here because you do get some weird effects when you do some flipping action okay so with the circle selected and we look up here we have this right here where we can either flip or rotate so let's go ahead and do a flip so now the text is on the inside of the circle okay and we can do another flip and now it's on the top Okay, so you, you do have several options. You, you do want to play around with these to see what kind of effect you're actually looking for. Okay, and you can also notice that I can go ahead and select the text tool. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in just a little bit so we can see what's going on here. So we have the text tool selected and we select the text. You notice that we can still highlight we can still edit the text. So uh, you can do some live edits with this in case you make a mistake or maybe you need a couple extra spaces in here in order to get the words correctly uh, the way that you would like to have them for your project. Now some other things that you may want to play with here is uh, you can select all this and you can manipulate uh, the values here. You know, So you can either uh, alter the vertical shift so you can play with these values and that will move the text up and down and you can also play with the horizontal shift uh, and that will allow you to uh, basically move the text around the circle. So once you are finished with everything and you're ready to go and save this as an SVG, you do have to do a couple things first. So you do want to select everything and you do want to go to path, object to path. And now it is a is a path. And I'm going to go ahead and change my view, display mode, normal, so we can see what's going on here. And uh, another thing that you do not need now is that circle. So I'm going to go ahead and select the circle, and I'm going to remove it. And now this file is ready to be saved by going to File, Save. 